teacher ever, and I just really enjoyed it at A level, so I thought I'd carry on with it. Um, all you need to do is just look at the recent economic um, situation that we've been in recently to see how much of an impact that economics has, not just in the UK but in the world. Um, I, I did it at A level and I really enjoyed it. Um, I thought uh, I enjoyed the math side of it and also the fact that you can apply it to all our situations as well. Um, in my first year, I had 15, about 15, it is 14 or 15 hours from the lectures and all the tutorials every week and I think we are also expected to study about 20 to 30 hours outside the, you know, outside the normal classes. Outside of um, contact hours I obviously do you know, the exercises set and the reading and so on um, but I mean in order to properly understand economics it's better to kind of um, do e extra readings. Um. It can be difficult, <laughs> motivating yourself. Uh, I do quite like structure. But um, I'd say just think about the end result. Think about your, um, your degree classification, how that's going to help you get a job. Um, and also, it's quite interesting just to read about the subject. If you enjoy economics, then reading about it. And if you, if you do your work, then you learn more about it and get more interested. And it's just an ongoing process, really. There's a wide range of options. Most people do uh, around two open units each year, which can be within, so, so mine, I, I chose management accounting. You can do an open unit in pretty much anything you want, but um, there's a wide variety of units I've, I've, I'm doing this year. I'm doing uh, micro and macroeconomics, principles of finance, which is, which is great. It's quite nice to get into finance and have a look at that side of things. Um, there's also management units as well, organisation units, you can look at law as well. There's um, there's a wide variety of things to do. There'll be something there'll be something for everyone. Well, first it was good for me because I picked a, I picked a language to look at, which is completely outside the faculty of economics. So, I mean, it's really up to you. If you're interested in something outside of economics, you're not limited to just doing economics. Um, probably the most interesting topic is. Um, Macroeconomics, looking at how how governments make their policies and how the policies really do affect um, affect people, consumers, businesses. I find that probably the most interesting thing, even though it is very tricky to get hold of, particularly a lot of maths and theory behind it. But once you get the knowledge, it is interesting to you can read reports easier and you can understand things in in the real world easier once you've learned the macroeconomic topics. So I'd say that's probably one of the most interesting things because it applies to real life. I've quite liked a couple of open units. Management accounts is one of my favourite because uh, it's quite practical with business and stuff like that. You get to look at the way businesses run. I like in microeconomics looking at game theory, which is quite cool because you're looking at decisions and strategy, which you can actually, you can think about it in real life. You start to notice things in real life that it does actually have an implication in and it's quite interesting. Um, there is, there is always the talk about forty percent being the pass, the pass rate um, in first year because it doesn't actually count towards your final degree. Um, but a lot of the potential internship employers, which could prospectively be your future employers, do base your academic abilities based on your first year performance as well as your a level performances and your GCSE performances. You know, studying economics is a really challenging job because you know there are lots and lots of people doing economics and also economics related subjects. Um, you know, you have you have to motivate yourself because you know there are gonna be a very fierce competition after graduation. There's for economics especially, I think um, there is kind of quite a direct route to go um, in terms of internships and graduate opportunities, um, the most popular being you know, banks and um, sort of the investment side, the corporate side of it all. Um, but there's actually a lot more than that. Um, I, I haven't applied to banks, so I've applied to um, Deutsche, um, Barclays Capital, JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley, um, but also I kind of thought, um, I also applied to Bloomberg, which is the kind of, it's, I think it's more on the media side of um, 
um, of the economics. Um, and the reason I did that is because I thought it's something different, but yet it's still in my subject. So it's kind of like, it's, I thought it'd be quite interesting to see like a kind of new tangent to economics. There are many um, internship and graduate opportunities open to economic students. Um, economic students are very employable as, as we have mathematical skill, analytical knowledge, but also we're able to present ideas um, in a clear and concise way. Um, so many, many opportunities are open. Uh, a lot in accountancy with the big four, um, big conglomerate companies such as Unilever and Mars. Um, this year I applied for KPMG and got an internship in the Watford office doing facilities. Um, so looking at the internal works. But there's all sorts of opportunities open in audit, tax, um, advisory, consulting, anything really, the world's your oyster, you're an economic student. <laughs> absolutely, you can do absolutely anything you want to yeah. do with this degree, I honestly believe that. That's the beauty of this because you have qualitative skills, quantitative skills, everything. You can basically, you get everything out of it. And if, if you can't find a job, you can take a job. <laughs> <laughs>